everyone, Darren here, and on today's episode of Watsi Academy, we will be looking at how to fight with cupolas. All tanks have a commander's cupola, and many tanks have large cupolas that act as major weak spots that can often hinder how you fight an enemy. So today, we will look at four ways to fight in a tank with a large cupola. So let's get started. So for the first tip, we have fight along terrain that is on the same side as your cupola. This could work a lot of times, but be mindful of the terrain you're fighting in because what you could end up doing is trading one weak spot for another. And in this case, it would be my lower plate if I was fighting here in a city. But besides that point, you can see here with uh, this demonstration that the enemy team or the enemy tank in this case cannot hit my cupola because I'm fighting alongside terrain that is able to very effectively hide my cupola while still allowing me to roll out, be able to take a shot while still protecting a major weak spot. Now this could obviously work a little bit better in a more like regular natural terrain where maybe hip uh, hills or bumps might be able to kind of like adjust your tank to hide the lower plate better but in this pure demonstration i'm using just a corner of a building to give you a more clear uh understanding of how this how this tip can be done but again this can work a lot more effectively if you know the terrain that you're going to be fighting and this can often not work in a city setting here unless you have some stuff to be able to go haul down. But other than that, it is a still a very good tactic that you can employ in many areas of maps. For the second tip, we have wiggling your turret. Now, this tip alone is like the worst option to do, but in some cases it's all you can do. Like, let's say you're in the valley on Lakeville and you're crammed on that ridge with like four or five other tanks and you can't wiggle you, you can't rock your tank or you can't uh, go up the slope laterally and all you can do is just go straight up and down well then just in this case wiggling your turret it may be the only option you have and it can work sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work um and i i apologize but really if you're doing this like aiming it feels super slow and sluggish and i apologize if some of you get motion sick from this but really this is the only way you can really wiggle your turret um and as you can see, it, it will bounce some shots and juke some shots. And then other times it does not matter. It's still going to pen. Um, but yeah, again, it, this is like the worst option because sometimes you're taking that chance. You, you aren't technically you're still stationary uh, or maybe driving in a straight up down motion. And you can still predict where you're going to be. But again, doing this alone is not the best option. Now, in tip number three, we have the same tip as number two of wiggling your turret, but in this time, let's say you have more room to work with, and so what you want to do is wiggle your turret while rocking your tank back and forth. So if you want to keep aimed in on the, uh, the enemy tank, as you can see in you know, this case, I'm trying to keep a presence, maybe trying to keep them spotted for artillery or something like that, but you know, I don't really, I, I don't, you know, I don't want to lose sight of him. What you see me doing right now, again, apologize for the for those that may be motion sick, but by rocking my tank back and forth and doing this motion, you're creating almost an unpredictable pattern uh, for him to try and guess where your shot will be. Now, again, there's no guarantees you're going to bounce everything. Some will still pen. Um, some might just be lucky and bounce. Some might miss altogether, but by, this is a much better option. I would have to say this is just as good um, as option tip number one by for avoiding getting hit in a major weak spot such as the cupola and this works very well in, in terrain that you can go hull down in. now for the fourth and final tip i have found this to be the best option in my years of playing this game and that is to approach a slope at an angle to make your cupola smaller when you crest the ridge and give that lateral movement of you kind of moving side to side. And if you look here at uh, the my opponent's gun cam, you can see, minus the little bit of the lag, uh, still having that DDoS attack issues going on, um, 
But as you can see, he does not have a large Coppola profile to aim at. I'm not giving him any weak spots. And he, anything that does get near or hit my Coppola bounces right off because of the extreme angle. It's a very, it's pro the most effective tactic I've seen. But of course, this does have a trade-off with the E5 specifically. If I want to take a shot at him, I would have to completely crest the ridge. Um, and, and But, you know, maybe in tanks that have a much better gun depression than the E5, or maybe it's a lot more of a gentle slope, uh, you can see that th this could work very well when you're just trying to keep a tank spotted or bait him into firing so that way you can safely roll up in into, into the open or into a position to be able to shoot at your opponent. But overall, again, the, I have found this to be the most effective tactic when fighting with a large Coppola. And I, if you have the room and you have the ability, definitely go and try this out in a game. Or if you don't want to take that risk, bring a buddy into a map and practice and try it out yourself. It, it is, uh, I'll say this again, the most effective tactic that I have encountered when fighting. Uh, and the most reliable, in a sense, out of them. It, with this lateral movement on a hill. And that concludes the video on how to fight with a large cupola. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. But until next time, this has been Darren of Watsi Academy.